Hello everyone and welcome to today's pick a card reading. For today's reading we are asking Spirit who is stalking your social media and why. So for today's reading we have three groups for you guys to choose from. Group number one has this little fairy dust. Group number two has this little sea star. And lastly group number three has this little teapot. Okay, so if you want to, you can pause the video here to decide on a group and then just check the description box down below for the timestamps and then let's see who is stalking your social media and why. Hello everyone who picked group number one. So you guys chose the little bottle of fairy dust and today we are asking Spirit who is stalking your social media and why. So to begin, we have this archetype card to represent your person. So we're going to see some more detail about who they are or maybe it's a company or a group of people. So let's begin. I haven't looked at these cards yet. So we have the judge card and with the light attributes, it says balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. And the shadow attributes are offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal or criminal authority. And this card really reminds me of the Judgment card as well, so that could be like a Libra energy for you guys. Now, I definitely get the sense that for a lot of you, this will be pertaining to some kind of business uh, person that is lurking on your social media. So this could be companies looking at your socials. Maybe you applied for some jobs and people are checking out your CV or maybe you have like a LinkedIn profile. Uh, but it can even talk about maybe someone that is working with you that is looking at your socials. But we'll see some more information about this. So to get some more detail, I'm going to use an oracle card to get a bit more info about why this person or the, these people are looking at your social media. So for that, I'm using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So Spirit for group number one, please. Can we get some more information about why these people or this person or company is looking at their social media? Okay, we have oh, we have two cards. Relaxation, interesting. And we have leadership. Hmm. Okay, I definitely get the sense that for a lot of you, this is talking about some type of business person or people that is looking at your social media. So it could be that you guys were in this period of relaxation so maybe you are currently looking for a job uh, so job hunting sending out cvs and stuff like that so i think for a lot of you guys uh, the person or people that is looking at your profiles is people that want to judge whether or not you are uh, the right person for a specific type of position so if i can use examples here this can even talk about maybe like um, people that work with you in a company that want to see if you are the right person for a promotion so they might be looking at some of your work that you published online so uh, if you are a researcher for example they would look at some of the articles that you have done and that you have posted online so maybe you are in STEM research or like um, chemistry or whatever so they might go through all of your work um, and I do think this this talks about either presenting you with a job opportunity or presenting you with an opportunity to step in a, in a, a more like a leadership role as we see here with this card now um, when I think about the polar bear on here you know uh, they live like in Antarctica or the North Pole I'm not sure <laughs> you know very cold places so it makes me think that you guys went through like a frozen period it's like everything was stalling um, especially when I look at the relaxation card again so maybe you took some time off some of you or you just went through a period where not much was happening um, so the people that are currently looking at your profile will be presenting you with maybe an opportunity uh, to step into a new role and so they are almost like judging uh, and and looking at different choices and options you know weighing the different options here with the scales now it could also talk about uh, some of your co-workers maybe the people that are competing with you for this opportunity so that they might be trying to see how they compare to you um, 
maybe some of these people even see you as being too relaxed. It could be that they find that on social media you present a very uh, stress-free or like carefree presence. Now, obviously, um, this depends on your situation and won't, won't resonate for everyone. But definitely for most of you, this is talking about um, someone looking at your profile in terms of your career. So I want to get more information here. Uh, so let's use the Brit's third eye tarot. So Spirit, can you give us more information about why these people are looking at group number one's profile? Okay, we have the nine of wands. Interesting. Okay, let's get some more information. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the queen of cups. We have the wheel of fortune. I'm actually going to take uprights here today. Uh, let's get some more cards. We have the seven of pentacles. We have strength card, some um, Leo energy for you guys. And this actually links in with the leadership card for me. And let's get one last card here, please, Spirit, for group number one. We have the king of wands. Okay. I do think there could be multiple people looking at your profile. So definitely there are some people that are feeling a bit anxious <laughs> when they look at what you're presenting online. So when I look at this Nine of Wands energy, you see this girl is like very determined. It's, it's like she's going to battle or was in a battle. She has like a, a arm and a cast here. So I think this is talking about these people that are competing with you for this job. So maybe they are really like comparing themselves to you and in this relaxation card we have this person lying in a hammock and reading so it's almost like they are studying you trying to figure out your moves and trying to see where they can outsmart you almost um it's almost like they want to take the lead here they want to be one step ahead of you especially with this devil card now this can talk about like an obsessive energy and we have this girl sitting here looking looking in the mirror but um, you know, there's no reflection here actually, so it's almost like they their focus is on you. Um, they want to see what you are doing. Uh, they're not looking at themselves. So it's quite interesting energy, very competitive energy. Um, but with this Seven of Pentacles here clarifying the devil, it's definitely pertaining to to career. So um, they almost want to see how you go to work so they really want to copy your methods i i often think about the devil energy also as someone copying you um trying to mirror your ways and you know with this queen of cups it's almost like they can sense that you really love what you do so maybe you put a lot of effort into your job and um, you really look at the details and you pour all of your loving energy into it and it's interesting, we have another mirror on here as well. So it's almost like that is what's reflecting back to these people. And even to people that are looking to give you maybe a promotion or something like that. So they can definitely see that you put in a lot of work and that you are passionate passionate about what you do. Um, and it's interesting, like her, her eyes are closed and she's also like very relaxed here. So I do get the sense that people see you as very self-confident in terms of how you present yourself at least so uh, I do think you you put like your best foot forward when it comes to your social media presentation um, and there's definitely like a lot of strength so um, it's like you stand in your power in terms of your online presence and people can see that and they can see that you know your worth um, even if this <laughs> might not um, be something that you feel is true to you so maybe you feel a bit anxious about your work and you might not feel good enough but the way that you present yourself is very uh, confident and um, it, it seems like you're very empowered and that's also why people almost watch you to see how you do things so that they can copy that now we do also have the wheel of fortune here and um, this can talk about uh, like a change of destiny almost um, I read about the Wheel of Fortune that it, it's often like what goes up has to come down. So um, I think this talks about these people that want to give you um, a, like a promotion or um, 
provide you with stepping stones towards a, a future position where you maybe have more of a leadership role. So if you are currently like at the bottom of the rank, I think you can expect people to present you with an opportunity where you can move into a higher position. Um, now I do think in terms of these other people that are lurking and that want to see uh, how it is that you can be successful, um, they they almost want to bring you down. So they see you as being at the top here, especially with this Leo energy. They still see you as almost stealing the limelight and they want to bring you down. So they want to shift this um, wheel, <laughs> uh, if that makes sense. So it's quite interesting, but I do think you are very balanced because we have like the yin yang here. So I think um, that's just a side note coming in from spirit. Uh, stick to your guns, don't. Uh, be afraid of these people and their negative energy uh, because as long as you keep in balance everything will be fine and you will present be presented with great opportunities um, especially with the king of wands here as well you know it's a, a very passionate creative person with great ideas so i think that's what you should be focusing on the great ideas that you have and the ideas that you present on your on your social media and um, these ideas is what these people will be judging you on so don't bother too much about any other people <laughs> that is lurking and trying to um, steal your ideas. Maybe be a bit secretive. Um, I do often think of the devil also of being like a, a secretive energy. So maybe don't tell people what you're planning beforehand. Wait till it has come to fruition and then they can see you celebrating some of the wins that you have in your life. Um, so for example, if you have a great research idea don't talk to too many people about it don't post about it on social media first get ahead and start start working on this idea so that uh, by the time that you're almost finished and want to talk to people about it they can't copy your work um, that's just a side note from spirit coming in here so uh, maybe a little bit of a warning now but overall um, I definitely see that for most of you uh, this is actually for all of you um, talking about other people wanting to give you a new opportunity or some of your competitors trying to steal your ways. Okay, so uh, I want to get some advice or future energies for this situation. So Spirit, can you give us some more info about the situation? Maybe what will happen um, with these people? Uh, anything relating to group number one? Let's see, we have, okay, we have two cards. We have, the energy is gaining momentum, and this is the waxing moon. And we also have a fiery climax approaches. So interesting that these two almost link with each other. So as I mentioned here with the Wheel of Fortune, it can talk about what goes up must come at down and vice versa. So if you are currently also looking to uh, step into a new position, you can expect that to happen in the future. And I think um, from from this point that you watch this video, it's timeless. But from this point forward, um, you will really see a very swift movement here. So um, maybe some of these people that want to offer you a position will be contacting you. Um, could be via via like email or. Um, they might telephone you, anything like that. Uh, but I do also get the sense that um, there will be an increase in jealous energy surrounding you. So maybe some people won't be quite as happy <laughs> when you step into a, a bigger role where you have more responsibilities. Um, and I do think this fiery climax could also talk about maybe some disputes even with co-workers or, or friends and family that don't want to see you succeed as much. Um, this obviously won't resonate with everyone, but I definitely feel like some people won't be too happy about your success because they will feel like you are um, overtaking them in a way. So I, I think they are afraid to be left behind, if that makes sense. You know, the, the ram, the Aries, um, can really charge in and I think they can see that you have this fiery energy behind you, um, especially with the Strength card and the King of Wands. So you really have a lot of momentum on your own. It's almost like they cannot hold you back and this is what scares them. And that's why, why they are lurking on your social media to find out how it's possible that you, you have this much creative energy and all of these great ideas um, because you know unique ideas isn't something that you can copy <laughs> that's why it's unique um, okay so let's get 
one or two last cards here spirit for group number one please can we maybe get some guidance here oh. okay we have sorry we have dance with life do something to change your energy interesting and i mentioned here um earlier that spirit is saying you should keep in balance so it could be that some of you feel responsible for other people's feelings so maybe you don't want to compete with these people you're only actually competing with yourself and trying to be the best version of yourself and i think spirit is saying keep focusing on 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 your own goals and don't let these other jealous people bother you so still find enjoyment in life and i think maybe movement will be very beneficial to you guys to stay in balance so uh you might actually like to dance or anything physical like um some type of exercise just get sweating a bit um you know mars energy is with aries it's the the planet of war so i think if you feel some tension building up spirit is trying to say to you guys that you should find healthy ways to cope with that and to um uh, channel that energy into something positive uh so definitely a lot of you will benefit from having some type of physical routine it can even talk about um like a creative way of expressing expressing your uh, anxiety maybe like uh, painting or singing or anything like that where you can just um, channel your negative energy in a healthy way okay so group number one i know it was a quick reading today but it's um just to give you an overview of who is lurking your social media so uh, I hope this gave you guys some clarity or that it resonated with you. If it did, you can let me know in the comments down below. And then if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel and like this video. Then I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video soon. Bye! Hello and welcome everyone who picked pile number two. So you guys chose this little starfish here and starfish talk about healing so we'll see if that ties into your reading today and today we are asking spirit who is lurking on your social media who is stalking you and why are they stalking you so <laughs> we'll see what wants to come through i haven't looked at the card yet so this is an archetype card to represent the person or people or company that is looking at your socials uh, so let's jump in and see who it is Okay, you guys have the card Poet. The light attribute is expresses soul insights in symbolic language and the shadow attribute is turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect. Interesting, okay. I almost think of like healing words when I look at this along with the starfish. So it could be someone that as a way of manipulating people with their speech but we'll see what wants to come through i don't want to jump ahead too much so i'm going to get an article card to get an idea of why this person or people are looking at your social media and interesting <laughs> this woman makes me think of oprah winfrey for some reason um so i don't know if that ties in in any way but you know it's like a, a people that almost hosts shows so maybe this person or people that are looking at the social media is very well known or influential in some way so let's see okay we have the card community interesting and there's like a rainbow on here and white butterflies maybe that is a sign for you guys and we also have white doves on here as well let's get one more please for it for group number two one more card please Okay, we have the card Wisdom. Interesting. Um, okay. So I think this could actually talk about someone who is part of your community in some way, but maybe not like a very close friend. So it's someone that wants to connect with you. Maybe they even see you as someone with a lot of insights that you can share with them. And now with the Poet card and with this rainbow it makes me think of creativity so some of you guys could be um, like creators in some way maybe even actual poets or you like write a lot or you create artwork and i think some of the people that are looking at your social media wants to collaborate with you in some way so especially with this community card it's like they they almost want to grow with you 
uh, so grow maybe a project. Um, if I think about uh, YouTube, for example, they want to uh, collaborate on a video with you, or maybe you are someone that does freelance work and they want to have you on their team on, on a certain project so that you can give them some of your insights that you have learned over the years. Now, it can also talk about someone that wants to provide you with some guidance. So, like I said, it, it reminds me of Oprah Winfrey, you know, like the talk shows, they often have very uh, meaningful conversations. So, it's definitely someone that wants to communicate with you and I think um, you will find that both ways you will have um, lots of wisdom being shared between you and these people that are watching your social media. So I'm not sure how this will resonate with all of you. <laughs> Obviously you know what's happening in your situation. But it's definitely someone that wants to have a stronger bond with you. Now with poet it makes me think even of maybe people that have seen what you do on social media and they want to connect with you even on a friendship level so uh, it could be someone that is like studying at the same university and they look at your instagram posts and they see that you do all of these fun things maybe you um, go to art galleries or you go to stand-up comedy shows or whatever and they can really relate to you uh, just based off of what they see on your social media page and that's why they also want to uh, be in your energy and connect with you so uh, I do think it's people that you're, you're not like very close to but they do want to see what you're doing now another scenario that I'm picking up on here is that it could be people from your past uh, so maybe you went to school with some of these people that are watching your social media and they have seen you grow into someone, um, especially with these butterflies. So it's like you transformed and maybe even the way that you talk has changed. When I think about doves, it's also talking about peace. So I do think they are very um, inspired by the way that you are presenting yourself and maybe the, the things that you say on social media and... If it's like past friends, they might even want to reconnect with you because they definitely feel like you have um, something to share with them. And it's interesting, we have like this mermaid on here as well. And I think about Ariel actually now, now that I look at the poet card as well. You know, Ariel's voice was taken away. So it seems to me like it's either people that aren't in contact with you anymore and want to be in contact with you again or it's like other people that are not so close to you and want to have opportunities to talk to you because they see you as someone with a lot of interesting ideas and insights and wisdom to share with them and they want to form a community with you so that's very interesting you know Ariel was also uh, obviously she was a moment and then she came onto the land um, so it could even be that you have change location or had to cut off some people to go through your transformation and to go into a new space in your life and now some of these people want to reconnect and so they are first looking at their social media to get an idea of what you're up to um, but with this poet card as well and you know the shadow attribute says turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect and i think about how people often represent a false image on social media so maybe you should be a bit um wary of some of these people um this won't relate for everyone but some of them might want to misuse your wisdom so if this is like old friends or connections that want to rekindle just be aware um just keep your eyes and ears open <laughs> okay and make sure they don't use your insights for their own benefit and then discard you after they have almost sucked you dry so that's just a side note from spirit that suddenly wants to come through so let's get some more information here spirit for group number two please can we get more information about this person or people that is lurking the social media what exactly is going on here because we have a few different scenarios and i'm going to get some more info okay we have the ace of swords interesting this really talks about clarity uh, and like truth 
okay let's get some more we have ten of wands hmm okay we have the four of cups we have the eight of swords and we have the six of cups I'm not taking reversals today uh, let's get some clarifiers here okay we have the magician we have the ace of wands so two aces here definitely some people that want to re-enter your life okay we have the hanged man and lastly we have one more card please spirit <laughs> many okay we have the six of swords interesting um we have some pisces energy here hmm okay and the back of the deck is the two of swords so i'm just gonna keep that in mind it's quite an interesting spread okay for some of you this can even talk about someone like a romantic connection that that maybe <laughs> lied to you or twisted your words and i think for some of you you were wise enough to step back from the situation now it doesn't have to be romantic it can even talk about other close connections especially with the six of cups here it's it's like a nostalgic energy uh, and it can talk about childhood friends so there's definitely for a, a big group of you watching pile number two, um, this is talking about people from your past that is looking at what you are currently doing. Now with the Ace of Swords, I do think it, it cuts quite deep the fact that you seem to be thriving in some way. So I definitely get a big sense that for many of you, you went through, through some type of transformation and people want to know exactly what was or is happening in your life and how you came to be this person that you are today now it is definitely uh, having them a bit in shambles you know uh, the magician can talk about a, a kind of trigger trickery energy so a trickster energy um i definitely feel that for many of you people want to experience your energy and they might use unethical ways to do that uh, by twisting your words maybe or, or like being smooth talkers uh, trying to almost worm their way into your life and I, you know that saying about you are like um, the five closest people that you associate with so I definitely feel like many people think they will be able to achieve more success if they are in your presence it's almost like they can use you to their benefit now with the four of cups uh, this is often about you know people talk about like a missed opportunity or not seeing what's in front of you um, and i think for a lot of you it's also talking about some of these people um, not realizing your worth uh, in the past maybe if they were like your your childhood friend or if they were in a romantic connection with you so they didn't see you for the person that you could be and now you went through, through a transformation and they want to have a new start here um, it can even talk about like um, quite a passionate energy this ace of wands if it's talking about a romantic connection so maybe for some of you you went through a physical transformation as well. When I think about the poet card, I also think about people saying their affirmations. So maybe you went through like a self-love journey and you started to affirm that you were this different person and that you looked a certain way. And maybe you started acting in accordance to those affirmations. And that's how you were able to transform your life. Um, and now these people are really realizing what they are missing out on and that's also part of this wisdom they are missing out on on these insights that you gained over the years now with the eight of swords it really talks about um, being self-imprisoned keeping yourself stuck and especially with this hangman here as well it's almost um it's almost like spirit is trying to say to you guys don't get st like stuck or caught up 
and attention from some of these people. Be very cautious not to um, just take their words as the truth, especially with this Ace of Swords here. I almost get that for some of you, these people will play like the damsel in distress and act like they need your help. Especially if it's also like a romantic partner that maybe lied to you or betrayed you in some way, they will act like they were the victim and try to come towards you for comfort, maybe. Uh, because I do sense that you guys have quite a loving energy. But um, Spirit is really saying like, make good choices, especially with this Ace of Swords as well. So if you need to move forward and leave some of these people behind, that's fine. It might be difficult, but uh, overall it would be better for your energy. So it can even be that they are like almost studying your social media to find uh, your weak spots, your blind spots, and how they can come into your life again and misuse your um, kindness. So it's quite interesting energy. So I, I want to get some guidance or future energy from Spirit. So Spirit for group number two, please. Can we get some future energy for this group, please? Okay. We have a personal issue reaches, sorry, a resolution, full moon in Cancer. So I definitely sense that this has to do with people that you have some type of issue with as well. So there was either a period where you didn't see them and they, now they want to re-enter your life or it was like someone that um, betrayed you, like a romantic partner. But uh, I mentioned in the beginning it could also be someone that wants to collaborate with you or provide you with insight. So if there is some type of issue that you are struggling with and that you need help with, this can also talk about this person coming in to provide you with that wisdom. So let's get one more here. Okay, sorry, we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Um, and this card also makes me think of people that can sting, um, especially with their words. So be careful. <laughs> I definitely think that some of these people that are looking at your social media don't have your best interest at heart. Um, so just take everything with a grain of salt, especially if they are like suddenly commenting on your social media posts, like saying a lot of compliments. It could be that they are trying to get your attention and to, um, like I said, feed off of your kindness, maybe your comforting energy. So just be aware of that. Okay, let's end with one last card here. So spread one last card of guidance for group number two, please. Let's see here. Okay, we have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting your future. So here that really links in with this little starfish here talking about healing. So it could be that you have a tendency to keep onto certain type of connections when you know they aren't healthy for, for you. And as I said, spirit here is reminding you guys that sometimes you have, a, you have to walk away from some of these connections. So if the clarity comes to you, like if your intuition tells you that someone isn't good for you, then listen to that and don't be swayed by their words and don't be swayed by the fact that maybe they are part of your community. So use your own wisdom and insights um, and don't be afraid of cutting people off if you see that they aren't benefiting you in the long run, especially with this infinity symbol here and on this magician as well. So. Um, Break the, the cycle before it is something that you carry over into future generations. Okay, so group number two, that is what I see for you guys. Um, this is who is looking at your social media. So some people are definitely trying to manipulate you in some way or gain your trust or attention or, or whatever. So just be careful not to let the wrong people into your inner circle. Okay, so... Group number two, if it resonated, you can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and then if you want to support me and my channel, you can give this video a like and subscribe. And then I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video soon. Bye. Hi everyone, who picked group number three. So you guys chose the little teapot here. And it makes me think of spilling the tea, so like gossip. So maybe this relates to your reading in some way. 
and today we are asking spirit who is stalking your social media so who is looking at your social media and why are they looking at your social media so to begin we have an archetype card here just to represent the person or people or even like company that is looking at your socials so let's see we have the card seeker interesting <laughs> so they are definitely um looking at your socials quite a lot here so very um, determined to, to study everything that you're doing uh, it might be that they are even looking for a specific type of information but let's see so the light attribute says thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are and the shadow attribute is inability to commit to a path once found hmm interesting so some of you guys could be on a dating app <laughs> uh, like tinder or something and you know people are swiping all of the time so it might be that they are like looking for a romantic partner um but definitely the people who are looking at your social media is looking for a specific type of person or type of information so they have a, a goal in mind so it's not just like for no reason just mindless scrolling they definitely want to see something specific so when i think about gossip and spilling the tea it could even be that someone heard something about you and they are trying to figure out whether or not that is the truth but we'll see what your other cards say i don't want to jump ahead so spirit um can you give us an oracle card to give us more information about why these people are looking at group number three's socials let's see here just one or two cards, please. Okay, we have two. We have Courage, interesting. And we have New Beginnings, hmm. Very interesting, you know. Okay, this could talk about a romantic interest <laughs> that is trying, trying to build up the courage to approach you. So maybe there were some false starts in the past. It's interesting that I immediately thought of like Tinder or something. So I definitely get the sense that for many of you, this has to do with a romantic interest or a romantic partner. It could even be an ex. Uh, you know, this person is like in a desert here. So it's desolate, it's dry, it's it's hot, sweaty, it's, it's not nice. <laughs> and they, we have this courage card here with the sea. So that's like water and it's... It's a bit of a, like a rough sea here as well. So I think the reason why they are so determined to seek out information about you is because they, it's almost like they want to make a very informed decision <laughs> to approach you. So they, they are expecting a stormy period if they build up the courage to approach you. So for a lot of you, I think this could be talking about someone that maybe had some false starts with you or false promises or maybe you expected something to happen and it didn't happen or they pursued like a different path um especially with the seekers so maybe they seeked out attention from other people and now they want to come back to you for a new beginning so that's why they have to build up this courage because they realize that they have wronged you so that is obviously something <laughs> that they have to keep in mind and that's why it's going to take so much energy from their side to actually approach you and that's why they want to have all of this information beforehand so i almost think of someone making a list of like questions <laughs> that you might have for them and then wanting to seek out answers before they approach you so it could be that they even want to see where you are hanging out so that they can just casually bump into you so for example, if you always post that you have breakfast at a certain restaurant on a Friday morning, then suddenly you might see them on a Friday morning and then they just appear in the same restaurant at the same time that you're always there and they will be like, oh, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> but really it's not because they were really looking at your social media, trying to get information about your whereabouts. And um, the word conspire is coming to me so it's almost like building this plan it's really like a spy energy um so that's quite interesting it's sneaky energy it makes me think of the um seven of swords so let's get some more information about this person and why they are looking at your social media so let's see spirit for group number three please can we get some more information kindly okay we have the queen of cups and we have the king of wands it's like um, 
counterpart here. So I definitely get the sense of a romantic partner here. Let's get some more. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords, like I said. <laughs> definitely that sneak energy. And we have the Sun card, so Leo energy. Let's get some more here. Okay, we have <laughs> Nine of Wands. Um, this person <laughs> is definitely expecting a battle, um, especially since it's falling be below this Courage card here. So it's almost like they are putting on their armor beforehand and their armor is information about you. Okay, let's get some more here, please, for it. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. So um, it's usually more female viewers watching, so I'm going to view the Queen of Cups as um, you watching. So this person definitely feels like you have already moved forward. At least this is what your social media is telling them. So they might be seeing you out partying with a lot of friends, maybe um, going out on adventures. And that's also why they are gathering all of this information, because to them, it seems like you have already moved forward and that they are are left in the past and that's why it's taking so much courage from them to to try to approach you let's get some more here please spirit okay that's too much let's take these two we have the five of wands and the nine of swords mm. this person is definitely very very anxious um, and they are expecting arguments um hmm I feel like they see you as the sun person here so it's like you are shining almost and it's interesting we have the sun here in the desert you know and then the sun card here so it's almost like you are shining so brightly now it's almost as if their, se their life seems like a desert in comparison so you are like this so sun this star shining brightly but then they are still looking for happiness with this seeker card so that's very interesting because the sun card can almost it talks about happiness as well so it's like they are, are looking for you it might even be that they are like looking for you in every person that they meet uh we also have the eight of swords okay and again we have the star here so it's like they were keeping themselves bound and not moving towards you, someone who could provide them with actual happiness. But now they were looking for happiness in all of these other places and not finding it. And so this realization <laughs> struck them. And that's why they want this new beginning. And I just saw we have the Six of Cups here at the back of the deck. And this talks about like a nostalgic energy. So uh, I think they daydream about you quite a lot. Might even daydream about you when they look at your social media. So. Uh, I think there's a lot of late night scrolling as well and um, reminiscing on good memories. If you shared some um, uh, memories with them, maybe you were actually in a relationship for some time um, and that didn't work out. So it, it is quite interesting energy here that we have for your group. So I want to get some future energy. So Spirit, can you give us some future energy for group number three, please? What is going to happen in this connection? Okay, we have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So again, we have some Leo energy, some more sun energy. Uh, Leo might be quite significant in your charts. But this also makes me think of like feigning confidence. So I definitely get the idea that this person will try to build up the courage to approach you. Now... Whether or not they actually do that will depend on your situation. But if they do, um, I think they that they might come in <laughs> almost too strongly because they are trying to put up a front. So they actually feel quite insecure. So to compensate for that, they will overcompensate with um, like almost like grandeur. So maybe they will present you with a big gift or a lot of compliments or something and you might not trust their words or, or all of the attention because it, it is such a big contrast to the energy that they were in previously and I do think they let pride get in their way in the past and they, they are trying to rem remedy this now let's get one more here Okay, 
we actually have two. That's fine. We have don't let your past hold you back. And we also have you and your loved ones are safe. Hmm. So obviously you should use your intuition. You still have free will. But for many of you, Spirit is saying it's safe to try this again with this person if it didn't work out and to follow um, this new beginning because I think this you and your loved ones are safe is talking about you so uh, I, I feel like for many of you you feel unsafe uh, trying to pursue this relationship again and that's why spirit is saying don't let your past hold you back so obviously hold this person accountable if they wronged you but don't um, don't make swift moves and then regret it in the future so don't cut them off immediately uh, maybe just be open to hear their side of the story and um, also don't let your pride get in the way so um, be careful that you don't switch a role so <laughs> you might find that you do exactly what this person did in the past so just be aware of that spirit is just saying that as like a little side note but like I said, obviously you still have free will. If this person did something terrible to you, you will know about that. And you don't have to let them back into your life. This can even talk about not getting back with an ex if you have a tendency to break up and make up again and again and again. So it, it could be some type of um, pattern that you have in your life and that is what you need to leave in the past. And you shouldn't have too much pride um in accepting your faults and maybe accepting that this is something that you tend to do so it will resonate differently for you guys you know what message is meant for you so let's get one last card here spirit please for group number three please can we get a card of guidance okay we have play Ladies, I don't know how to say that. Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Interesting. So some of you guys might relate to the idea of star seeds. Um, and with double mission, you know, it almost makes me think that you and this person had a mission of your own and you had to work on some of your own things first. So maybe you were meant to be separate for some period before you could come back together or if this is like an ex and you have a tendency to break up and make up it was part of like a karmic contract something that you had to work through and you had to learn this lesson before you could move forward um and maybe even stalking the social media on your own so that could be something that you have to sever you know, uh, before you can move into a different energy in your life. So you will know how this message is relating to you. Um, but that was that is like what's coming through with this card. It's it's about listening to what your intuition and spirit is telling you and make your choices based off of that. So if you feel in your gut that this person is right for you, and that is also what the information that you have um, gathered about them is saying to you, then that is the right choice. But obviously, if there is something that is troubling you, um, your sp spidey senses <laughs> are going off, then you can choose to cut this person off and not let this negative pattern continue in your life. So, group number three, that was a short reading, but I really hope it resonated with you guys. If it did, you can let me know in the comments down below. And then, if you want to support me and my channel, you can give this video a like and subscribe. And then, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video soon. Bye!